to know who you ask, they'll tell you I'm a legend. From Y.O. to the Veil to the Mongol spot on Creston. Always been a thousand, never ever been a lane. Lay a nigga down, down for these three letters on my chain. Top of the top, y'all. What's happening with it? It's your boy Jay Hood and all that, and you are now tuned into a brand new episode of the Tales from the Hood vlog series. Come on, man. Y'all niggas already know what it is. Go stream or download my new project self, and while you at it, get the Pesci Trilogy, part one, two, and three. You heard? Check it. On today's episode, we're going to talk about um, the game, all right? Now, I spoke briefly about, uh, you know, a few of my encounters with the game on um, Jordan Towers' uh, news channel, right? But I'm going to really get into it today on, on my platform, all right? So, check it. When game first, like, started coming to New York, this is, like, earlier on in his career and shit like that. I was invited to a studio session that he had at uh, Sony Studios in Manhattan. I forget exactly um, who it was that invited me there, but it was an invitation from him himself. All right, so I went there. I had, uh, I think, two or three of my homies with me, All right? So we, we get in the studio, you know what I'm saying? We walk in, and like, as soon as you walk in, you don't like immediately go into the studio section of Sony. They got like a, um, a little waiting area where you got like a TV where people be sitting, uh, you know, watching TV and eating and all that other type of shit. So it was a, a few people sitting there and you had to go through like this door to get to the bigger part of the studio that the, the actual recording goes down in. So, you know, I went through that door. There was like, yo, game in there. He want to holler at you and shit. So I walked through that door. My, uh, my homies, they were just sitting in the waiting area. So I got through the door. I see Game sitting down in like a, a chair, like in front of the sofa type shit. So he see me, like, you know, no funny shit. It's like eyes lit up type shit. Like, oh man, oh, what's good, what's good? I'm like, hey, shit, oh shit. What's good with you, man? He gave me a dap and shit, you know what I'm saying? He like, yo dog, yo, I'm not even gonna lie to you, my nigga. Like, Yo, fam, yeah, yo, nigga, you made a nigga want to get on these fucking mixtapes. I ain't even going to lie to you, bro. Like, nigga, you you killing this shit, nigga. You you inspired me to get on these shits. I ain't even going to lie to you, nigga. That 100 balls you dropped and all that, nigga, I heard that shit and was like, nigga, I got to I gotta get on these fucking tapes, man. I got I to gotta get on my freestyle shit. I'm looking at him and shit. He like, nah, seriously, bro. I'm like, okay, you know what I mean? Like, hearing that come from him, even though he wasn't, like, crazy established at the time, you know, I was like, oh, oh shit, I ain't my shit really traveling like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he on the West Coast. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong. I knew the, the mixtapes were circulating um, internationally and all that, but it's always good, you know, um, hearing that other artists are hearing your shit and they respecting your shit like that. So when he was saying that to me, I'm like, okay, that's dope, that's dope. So uh, in that same session, I was introduced to an A&R from Aftermath. Uh, by the name of, um, what was his name, Angelo or something like that, man. Like, don't 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 quote me. I think his name was Angelo. But uh, anyway, you know, we were sitting down chopping it up, and he was telling me that uh, the aftermath was interested in signing me. You know that they had reached out to um, to the locks at some at one point and tried to get a um, a joint venture going as far as for my project. And he was asking me, was I aware of that? And I'm like, nah, hell no. What the hell are you talking about? Because I had no clue what he was talking about. He was like, yeah, man, we reached out to try to make something happen with the guys, you know, about working with you. And, you know, they, they wasn't with the idea. So nothing happened. I'm like, what? So that came as a shock to me. I'm like, what the fuck? I could have been signed with D-Block slash Aftermath. You know how crazy that would have been? But and that's a whole nother story. But um, I found that out that day. And, you know, at that time, he was in New York probably for like a week, maybe like four or five days, if not a whole week. But the next day, he invited me out to go um, kick it with him and shit. And we went to uh, to a celebrity basketball game that he had to play in that Gacho's gym in New York and shit. So I went to, um, to the game with him and shit. It was lit. You know, everybody was all on the nigga. Uh... People were surprised to see me with him and shit, you know what I mean? Like, it was a, it was crazy, man. Motherfuckers were showing wild love. It was dope. And uh, I think, like, either later on that night or the next day, he hit me up again to um, 
to kick it and shit, and we ended up getting up with Baron Davis, the former NBA player and shit. He had like uh, I think maybe like eight or nine of his uh, some young boys that he was fucking with. You know what I mean? It was like uh, college basketball players that he was grooming and shit. So he bought them, and we was all just like kicking it and hanging out, and he took all of us out to eat. I think at ESPN Zone in Manhattan and shit. And it was just like we had a good time. Like it was, it was dope. You know, it was a crazy, crazy experience. Baron was a cool nigga. You know what I mean? Showed me a lot of love and shit. And I remember that shit like it was yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Like we all was just like bugging out. You know what I mean? The young boys was fucking with me. They couldn't believe that a nigga, you know what I mean, was there with him and shit. You know what I mean? It made a nigga feel like real, real comfortable, real live, and you know what I'm saying, real appreciated and shit. So that shit was dope. And um. I met another one of Game's homeboys just from fucking with him. My nigga New Jersey Devil and shit. Cool ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I remember he pulled up on me one day in Yonkers. He from Atlantic City and shit. So he pulled up on me in Yonkers one day with like two of his homies. Them niggas was in like a a, a minivan and shit. This is my crib that burned down and all that. He pulled up to my old block to come school me and shit. I forgot what the hell we was doing. But I might ended up getting on the track with his artists and Game and shit. But anyway, like I say, he, he scooped me up. And I was laughing when he had schooled me up because when, when we got in the van, him and his homie had like two Glock 9s just like laying on their laps and shit. I'm like, y'all niggas riding around the hood and y'all just like this? Y'all niggas is hot, man. Y'all niggas about to stash them shits, man. He was like, oh, it's hot like that? I'm like, hell yeah, it's hot, nigga. The fuck you mean, man? Y'all niggas is bugging out, man. He about to stash them shits up, man. And that shit was just hilarious to me and shit. And, um, you know, after that, me and him kept cool and, uh, you know, as time went, went on, me and Game kept an open line of communication. But after I left the guys and shit, you know, a lot of shit just, just went sideways. And, you know, niggas stopped hollering at a nigga and all that shit. You know how it go. But, you know, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? But um, anyway, like always, I just wanted to share that story with you guys because that's what we're doing on this platform. Y'all should know that by now. And, um... Before I get up out of here, I just want to put it out there. Any up-and-coming artists got any projects that they want to promote, get at me. I'm going to be doing promo packages on um, this channel as well as all my social media platforms. So, like I said, if you got something that you want to promote, get at me for info. Um, my, my email is going to be in the description box below. And let's get to it, man. Until next time.